the kind of building that's going to win any architectural awards. Concrete, nondescript. It sits on the side of the highway, surrounded by a barbed wire fence with a warning sign on it and a locked door. People who drive by don't even give it a second thought, but I'll let you in on a little secret. The barbed wire fence, the locked door, the warning sign, they're not really there to keep you out. They're there to keep something else in. A monster. It's true. Today, we're going to meet the monster. When the people of Rifle, Colorado flush their toilets, this is where it goes. The monster likes to eat poo, but the monster doesn't like visitors. And the crew and I were about to engage in an epic battle. Despite the town's name, we were going into combat unarmed. Snow-capped mountains and a lake. Seems like it would be a nice place for a, for a picnic. Actually, it's not a lake. Dave, pleasure. Nice to meet you, Mike. This isn't runoff from the snow-capped no, peak. No, no, no. No, what is this? This is our uh, wastewater facility here in Rifle. The raw sewage comes from our headworks building there. It's pumped into pump number one. As you can see, these are aerators. They put oxygen into the water, keeping the bugs alive, which consume the waste. What waste is left goes into our second pond. We have a series of three ponds here. So the middle pond is also being aerated, but now that has less waste. From there, we go to pond number three, which is over near our shop there. Uh-huh. Now that pond is called a finishing pond. From there, it goes back into the Colorado River. Do you, do you run the facility here? Yes, I do. Yeah. What'd yes, you do before this? I was a master sergeant in the United States Air Force. It was, so you it was rough. you prepared men and women for combat, and you are now yeah. keeping the poo in rifle under control. Look how beautiful the place is. In the building, I was told, evil dwells. Uh, we've heard there's a monster that hangs out in there. Well, what, what sort of monster is it? A muffin monster. Well, let's see what we got. You can tell that a monster lives here because inside it smells monstrous. Oh, 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 dear. Kind of oh. stinks a little bit, huh? Oh, look at that. That's, well, that's terrible. And that's, there's your monster. There's your muffin monster, yep. The muffin monster uses a conveyor system to separate solids from liquids and raw sewage. From down below, the solids are brought here, where the monster chews them up and turns them into super concentrated muffins. But if you're looking for blueberry or bran flavored, you're in the wrong place. This is the solids I was talking to you about. Tampons, uh, toilet paper. Uh huh. Speaking of what we get, this is some of the dollars the guys have collected over the years. Poo dollars. Nah, let's keep it. That's dirty money. <laughs> it's yours. So they come through here and this gear. Yeah, the grinder grinds it up. This auger pushes uh, the solids out into what's called a muffin. So this is the muffin? That's the muffin. What do you do with these? It gets buried, landfill. Twice a year, the Muffin Monster gets a top-to-bottom cleaning, which means going into the sewer. That's our job today. But if we try to do it while the sewer is fully connected, the water down there will be too deep to work in. So I'm going to help Jaime, the crew foreman, install a bypass valve that will divert most of the flow. What do we do now? We're all done here. Let's go turn that pump on. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Fire in the hole. There you go. So the flow is now diverted. Yes, sir. What's that? Stomach's growling. The Muffin Monster is used to eating 24-7, but with the bypass in place and the flow of poo diverted, it wasn't getting fed at all, and it didn't sound happy about it. All right, Mike, here we are. <laughs> Muffin Monster. <laughs> Time to clean the old Muffin Monster. Dave, do you get used to it? Oh, yeah, you, you get used to it. Really? Yeah, I don't even, don't even smell it anymore. Anyway, we'll be using uh, our famous modified tool here. What makes it famous? Did you make this yourself? Yeah, I actually did. So what you want to do is you want to push all the solids into the grinder. Everything we're seeing here went down the toilet or down the drain. Exactly. But was not organic. Exactly. I mean, in general, these are rags. Rags, plastic. Uh... Oh, you've turned this off now. Uh, no, it, it actually cycles off on and off by itself. So it knows when to come off and on based it, on It what? works off the flow coming into the headworks here. So it has a brain. Yeah, the like, during, like during the day, most people are at work, not many people at home flushing toilets. So it kind of slows down in the evening, in the morning, it, 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 right. it, it speeds up. 
with this liver. We'll get the rest of them off. Ah, and you see that stuff hanging? Try to get that? Yeah, I do. You're, you're actually a good worker, Mike. Thanks, Dave. And the reason we clean it is if you didn't, it would jam up, then you'd really have problems. Oh, this stuff here, this slug? Yeah, uh, not really the proper tool for that, but... This is not the proper tool for anything, Dave. <laughs> I wanted to see the monster in action, so Dave turned it on manually. Well, the monster has sprung to life. You can basically see how it works here. It just turns the poo and the, uh, the latex products and the rubber products and the plastic products into a paste. And this is uh, normally a daily routine. Uh-huh. Usually do it in the morning. It's a great way to start the day, Dave. Yeah, 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 great way to start the day. What happens, like, in here and in here? And, uh, for... that, that, that's your auger portion of it that pushes out. And you push out about just like a foot a month of this muffin stuff. It's just really concentrated. Yeah, yeah. So this is really thick in here. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's your famous muffin. What we just done was the easy part. Now for the hard part, going down into the sewer where the poo comes in from the main line. The battle with the monster was about to begin, and down there was its home turf. 